In previous tutorials, we showed how to create the evaporation, condensation, and precipitation phases of a water cycle animation. Now we'll create the collection phase and complete our animation. Start by using the sun element used previously in the evaporation phase. Tap the sun element to highlight it, and then tap the copy icon. Position the time cursor at 6 seconds, and then tap the paste icon to position the sun at 6 seconds. To show water runoff, make a drawing using brush strokes to represent a stream. To do this, return to the gallery view, tap the plus button in the upper right corner, then tap New Drawing in the drop down menu. In the lower toolbar, tap the fill color icon in the right corner. Tap the basic palette, which is the third palette to the right. Choose a blue for your water. Tap the color, then draw a few brush strokes to represent the stream. Return to the gallery and now select your water cycle composition. View each of the elements in your animation by tapping the upside down triangle above the timeline. Tap the star button in the center of the toolbar to open the chooser to see all your drawings. Tap the thumbnail of your stream to add it to your composition. Position it at its starting position, then touch the green pathing dot in the middle and drag it along the motion path that you want it to travel. Make the initial size smaller by dragging the handles at the start time. Make the path linear by tapping the box icon with a straight line in the middle in the Selected Clip Tools palette. Then use the text tool to label this collection phase of your animation and position the text accordingly. Preview your animation by tapping the preview icon. Tap Done to return to the composition editor. Then tap Gallery to return to the gallery view. Your updated composition has been automatically saved and you now have an awesome water cycle animation that you can save to your camera roll, email, post to YouTube, tweet it, etc. Great job!